Hey, um, this is just a tumbleweed Joe on what he had to say about the History Channel. Uh, you know, check out his video, I'm gonna link to it. <laughs> I'm surprised he didn't mention that, um, any of the stuff that they did about Nostradamus and, um, and how they kept going back to him. And also that they even somehow stretched Nostradamus so far to, prom to promote global warming. Like they, they, they went back into stuff that he said. They also went, there's many, like they took, and uh, oh, in the 2012 thing, and they're like sensationalist. They're called the History Channel. And I'm starting to get kind of pissed off because they can, I don't understand why they talk ad nauseum about unanswered questions. Like they literally are just going on and on and on about, well, what if this means, you know, that the world will be flooded out? Did he predict something about, you know, today? And then they're presumptuous about things and they, there's so many pretenses that I, I see and I'm like, why are they just assuming things and why aren't we just talking about history? Why, like, why don't, there's a lot of really cool stuff. Like, I read a lot about history. Like, I, I've burned through all my books. Um, these aren't all mine, but quite a few of them are. And I mean, I read, I read a lot. I read as much online as I can, PDFs and stuff. Um, if you have any recommendations on any era, I'm interested in reading about it. But the History Channel does not present facts. It doesn't even present good conjecture. It just, just spouts anything out of its ass. And you can tell at this point that it's so well funded by special interests that it has nothing to do with history anymore. It just has more to do with politics every day. Um, and it's about as good of a historical news source as CNN or Fox News.